Okay, so here's an interesting Chiora uh, funny, um, and it's to do with printing thin walls and, and changing the line width to try and accommodate. So if I've got these parts here, uh, I've got line width of 0.6, lay height of 0.2, so I'm just going to slice that. And you'll see that these bits at the these tips of these parts on this model are printed. You know, this is Cura 4, by the way. I think Cura uh, 5 has better optimization for printing thin walls. So if you look at the wall settings, I've got print thin walls on. Um, so if I turn that off, I suspect it won't slice those. I'll just double check that. There we go. Busy slicing away. Yeah, it ignores them. So I'm going to turn print thin walls back on again. Um, and you would think now, if I scroll up, uh, if we change the line width to something really fine, like, I don't know, 0.2, which you can see it's starting to throw a warning there because the machine nozzle size set at 0.6. You'd think it would slice those walls appropriately. Yet it doesn't. It's still not happy about about those. Um, so you might think, well, actually, well, if I turn maybe the print thin walls off, then it might might be something in the software and the way it works maybe uh, it'll print them now um, nope still not there so I'll have to turn them back on again and we'll see that even with a wall line width of 0.2 it's still treating them as strange walls to print so there is a fix for this so if you go into settings printer and we'll manage the printer so on the machine settings it seems that the nozzle size has much of a much more of an effect on printing thin walls than everywhere else you see the walls everywhere else here they're all printed at, at point 0.2 thickness um, but even those thin walls that are detected it's just not happy and it won't print them so if we change that to something like a bit more sensible like 0.4 out of a point even though it's got a 0.6 fitted we'll close that close that scroll back up so i'm not going to print these at 0.4 we'll put it back to machine nozzle size of 0.4 and if we slice that now might need to go a bit thinner but I think 0.4 will do it there you go the walls are now treated and printed properly so yeah if you've got some thin walls on your model and it's just not picking it up and treating it appropriately in Cura no matter what you do with these line width settings go and change your nozzle width definition in the machine um, obviously be sensible 0.6 nozzle trying to paint, print a 0.1 line it's not really going to work very well but you know a plus six nozzle trying to print a 0.4 maybe even 0.3 line might work uh, and up, you know 0.6 printing sort of 0.8 will work as well um so yeah so i'm going to print that now and i'll i'll attach a photo at the end of the video so you can see how it's come out